This example illustrates the basics of a savings annuity. Here's a scenario. Suppose you deposit $100 into a savings account at the end of each year. If you earn 5% interest compounded annually, how much will this account hold at the end of three years? And we want to know also how much interest did the account earn? And we'll answer that at the end. This is different from the examples we saw in the previous section because rather than depositing a single lump sum today and letting that lump sum grow over time and then withdrawing that at the end, we're making regular deposits over and over and over again. So there's multiple deposits that we're making and each deposit is earning interest until we stop at the end of three years. So at the end of each year, we deposit $100 and the first year's deposit has longer to grow than the second year's deposit or the third year's deposit. Eventually, we're gonna have a formula to deal with situations like this, but for now, let's take this one and do it using the fact that if we are depositing each year and interest is compounded annually, then during that year, the account is really just earning simple interest because there's no chance for it to compound during the year. So the idea is that at the end of the first year, the account will hold just the $100 that we deposited right then at the end of the year. At the end of the second year, the account will have that $100 plus the interest that that earns. And again, we can treat this as simple interest because since we're just looking over the course of one year and there's no chance for the interest to compound during the year, it just compounds at the end of the year, this just looks like simple interest. So it's the $100 plus the interest that it earns. So that's the 5% interest and T is just one because it just grows for one year in that span. So at the end of the second year, that first $100 has grown to this amount and then you also make an extra deposit of $100. And that's the difference from everything we've done before. That we have $100 from the first year that grows according to this simple interest formula, and then we add on an extra deposit of $100. If you calculate this out, you find that at the end of the second year, there's $205 in the account. Well, during the third year, that $205 grows with interest Again, we use the simple interest formula with the same interest rate. That's the growth of the money that was already in the account. And then again, at the end of the third year, $100 is also deposited. So you multiply the $205 times 1.05, and then add on to that an extra $100. And what you'll find is that at the end of the third year, the account holds $315.25. So this is an illustration of how a savings annuity works. The first year, or the first payment period, we make a deposit, and then after that period has passed again, that money is earned interest and we make another deposit. And then that balance earns interest as well, and we make another deposit. And this process can continue indefinitely. But in this example, we just went forward three years. So we've answered the first question, that the account holds $315 and 25 cents at the end of three years. The second question though asks how much interest did the account earn? So to think about this, we think about how much we deposited and everything beyond that is interest. Now if we made a deposit three times, once at the end of the, each year, and each deposit was $100, that means we deposited a total of $300. The account holds $315.25. So that difference, the $15.25, has to be the amount of interest that we earned. And the interest calculation is just that simple. We can calculate how much the account holds at the end, how much we deposited, and the difference between those two is the interest that the account earned.